All right, continuation of calling out these fucking pussy, no name, stalking ass fucking cowards, bro. Uh, I kid you not, as soon as I, I upload this video, I have the video of the guy fucking, um, like the guy who I'm uh, referring to, but I kid you not, fuck, I sit on the bus, I'm sitting at the back of the bus, bro, and this fucking asshole, he gets on, he has like them change, all them, them crosses, like he has that weird shit where like he has them long ass fucking crosses on his ear, like they dangle, like, you know, that new age fucking... I guess that's the new trend. Oh, that, that's, that shit looked gay to me. But he had like a bunch of those fucking crosses on his ear dangling down. And he lifts as soon as he sit down. I don't know why I even made eye contact. Well, not eye contact with him, with him but like I, like, I don't know. Like I just happened to look in his direction, bro. And I kid you not, this dude's on his phone. He sits down on the bus. He has his camera out. And he fucking, he zooms in and he fucking looks at, I see his face and he fucking puts it on me. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? And I made, and then I whipped out my phone and made a video calling this man coward, cursing and shit. Fuck it, I'll probably just upload it. But it's like, even when you call those motherfuckers out, bro, like, they just don't even care. They're just sitting there like, I'm just like this coward ass, pussy ass, stalking ass bitch, dude. And he not even fucking saying anything, dude. Like... These motherfuckers really fucking are annoying, bro. Like, these fucking pussies, dude. And it's like, motherfuckers keep commenting on my videos and shit. Like, I'm so tired of these no-name profile-ass motherfuckers, bro. And it's like, I'm tired of just, just trying to be nice and be cordial. But it's obvious, the motherfuckers, if they comment on your video, bro, if you're someone who covers gang stalking and shit, the motherfuckers... Who be commenting on your video with no profile name or no shit, bro? Those be the motherfuckers stalking the shit out of you, bro. Like, and I'm just, I'm for for my people, you know, who's making these videos and who be liking they posts if they comment some shit and say some bullshit, or whatever. Just knows those. That's probably the money. That's probably your fucking your main watcher. The motherfucker. As soon as you upload the video, like this motherfucker was probably standing next to you, type shit watching you fucking make the video type of shit like bro these motherfuckers are so evil bro like it just it's like bro it's like i don't even know how to explain it because it's like at the same time it's like i feel like they like the attention because you know i i made videos where fucking i pointed motherfuckers out and then a comment will appear and it's like fucking a bunch of letters or some shit and it's like that's just signify signifying to me that you're you're one of the ones who are like on my ass 24 fucking 7. That's why I can't wait to see how this shit go once I move. Like, because I know they're all around me. I know they moved in next door. Fucking neighbors literally moved in like two months ago, bro. And I swear it's like maintenance, all that type of shit. Fucking got no blinds on their windows or nothing, dude. And then and actually yesterday I was talking to a friend Oh, like uh, overseas or whatever and tell me why something just told me to go to the window bro fucking you know how you can see the reflection it's nighttime so and these motherfuckers they have no blinds on their windows and they live like next to me so I can't see them but I can see like the reflection tell me why as soon as I go to the window I see like a, um, a appar like not an apparition like a, um, a shadow of a dude or a female standing in the window as soon as I come to the window like they back up and then the lights cut off I'm like bro it's like it's all hours of the day 24 7 motherfuckers just be stalking this shit out of you bro just nothing else better to fucking do and that shit is just funny it's like I really just want to know what the fuck these niggas get paid like what, what is it is it our hourly salary or what is it y'all just work from home or y'all just set y'all schedule up to match my schedule from when I'm home so you could just have time to just watch and stalk me. Because at this point, I know it's a community stalking thing. I ain't going to say for now why I know there's certain neighbors next to me who's not there because I've been purposely doing shit. not going to say shit, but 
you know, nothing bad or anything. I'm not, I'm not wicked and evil like these motherfuckers. But I just been doing certain shit so I can watch my surroundings, leaving my room a certain way, so I can see how they operate. Like, you know, that's why I just can't wait to move because I'm just tired of fucking. I, I can't. When I try to think with my mind and try to play mental mind games, it just, it just, it just, it sits bad with me knowing that I'm deliberately doing shit. To, to mess with these stalkers you know like it, it messes with my conscience because I naturally like I'm not I'm not like that like like I don't I don't think negative like I don't I don't do stuff deliberately to piss people off and that's what these motherfuckers do and for some reason my my gang stalking has switched to community like i'm dealing with community stalking and i'm just dealing with the you know the old-fashioned gang stalking assholes because it's gotten to the point where like okay like i don't fuck it for my chosen ones bro you know we don't have no problem with chilling to ourselves not really doing shit not really fucking with people you know and that's okay like we we prefer we prefer to be alone in our own peace. Like we're we're just we're we're introverts, just to, just to put it like that, and we're okay with it. But when these motherfuckers see that, it's like they don't like that shit, and they just think it's something wrong with you, or they just I don't know. Like I, I don't know. I can't think with a wicked mind, so I I don't know. But like these motherfuckers do, like. It'll get to the point where you'll just be walking to certain places. Like, okay, example. Um, fucking got on the bus. This is Pacific Lady. I know exact she's my neighbor. She's fucking badass mouth. She always shit talking. Like, she's one of those wicked motherfuckers. White, white girl, bro. Just talking shit, dude. And I noticed that she she moves somewhere else. But she still has the place next to me. And this is so crazy. Like, she has the place next to me. And then she literally gets on a bus and was like, and I, I catch it and she's literally like, oh, I can't wait to the end of the month so I can move back in my place. And I'm just like, oh, I move at the end of the month, bitch. So it's like, so me hearing that, how she knows my business, to me, it's like, okay, the maintenance people, everybody, it's like, bro, it's like, I'm just being watched 20 for fucking seven. And it's like, it's so bad where I'm at, dude. It's like insane. And this is why I don't fuck with nobody. And motherfuckers, and it's like, it's just, it's annoying because you'll get the motherfuckers who be wanting to do that conversation shit and, and like, they say specific words to trigger you. And it's like, it's just like, I don't understand why these motherfuckers, they want me to be talkative and shit. They want me to say something. They want me to be active and proactive. But at the same time, y'all doing wicked ass shit. Who's going to naturally in their right mind going to fuck with somebody who, who's constantly just talk like behind your back, fucking doing wicked shit, bro? And it's like I know this, bro. My fucking level of thinking is insane. Like my connection, fucking. I don't even know how to explain it. I'm, I just and myself, I just feel like I'm highly intelligent and I'm aware of my surroundings. So it's like I know when I'm around a fake ass, fucking stalking ass, lame, cowardly ass pussy, dude. And it's like. There's a bunch of them. Like, it's, it's like, it's, it, and it sucks because it's, it's, I'm not dealing with just gang stalking. I'm dealing with gang stalking and community stalking. So I have people, neighbors, just, what, like, it, it's just, let's just say there's just a bunch of them. I'm, I'm not going to go too crazy, but let's just say it's a bunch of them, bro. And it's like, me seeing that, me noticing that, I'm just like, okay, I just won't fucking talk to nobody. And it's just, I'm tired of like the word play, the the secret like signs these motherfuckers be doing. Like it, it shit is cowardly, and this is my reason on why I don't fuck with nobody, dude. Like I'm gonna have to go back to Georgia so I can where I can meet real ass motherfuckers. But at the same time, I'm hesitant on that because fucking the few people who I do talk to now, I'm starting to see that even they might be in it as well. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I have motherfuckers talking about, oh, I'm going to Georgia, I'm going to Georgia. Like, 
and asking me what, exactly what month am I moving? Like, why the fuck you randomly asking me am I moving back to Georgia? And I, and I also had like a friend fucking walk up to me and was like, um, I had like a friend walk up to me and was like fucking, oh, I don't wait to, I didn't even know they were just out there chilling, listening to me, of course. But anyway, um, fucking, I had a fucking friend fucking or someone who I acquainted myself with fucking was talking for some reason we just had this conversation about fucking moving and then she literally was like so when you moving to Georgia and like I didn't even fucking say anything about moving to Georgia or nothing like I just said I'm moving like it is just shit like that, bro. Is like why moving to this city? I just refuse to fuck fuck with anybody, bro. Cause these niggas is toxic. Like I knew touching down in here, the way the energy fell, I knew it was just like an evil satanic state. If you also want to know what another satanic state is, Arkansas. Arkansas is a fucking satanic ass state. And now my experience, I'm understanding that Pittsburgh is a satanic state as well. And you, bro, it's like, it's like I'm not mad because I know at the end of the day who I truly am. And I know once I get me a secure spot, you know, I'm going to be living good. Like, I ain't going to worry about, like, these assholes following and stalking me and shit like that. But it's just like, I don't know. It's just, it's like these motherfuckers just don't have nothing else better to do, bro. Like, it's just really baffling to me how you just constantly just watching the stock and watching the stock and watching the stock and they just know your every fucking move. Like, I don't know. I, I, I don't know how to explain it, but. And I think what I think what just irritates me even more is that the motherfuckers won't approach you, dude. They won't they won't be a man and be like, yeah, I'm stalking you for this specific reason or this or that like they won't fucking approach you they just hide in the shadows bro and i'm gonna forever assume that everyone who acts funny around me and acts scared of me fucking you 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 you're a fucking coward and you're one of the ones fucking stalking me because now i'm just starting to realize that it's 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 not just my presence it's the fact that what are people people are doing to me is why i'll just see a random person they'll act super funny around me dude and it's like, when a righteous person who ain't doing wicked shit on a mind, I can, I have no problem approaching this person, having a, a nice conversation, and there's no, like, awkwardness or nothing between us. Like, because the person who I'm fucking with, they're, they're righteous. They're not on this weird fucking satanic shit that these motherfuckers be on. Like, how, how much of, like, how much of a pussy are you, are you to fucking literally huddle in a group of a hundred motherfuckers to deliberately fucking play mental mind games with an individual who's not doing anything to no one yeah probably living a little fucked up but at the end of the day I know the people who, other people who are going through what I'm going through, I know we're not doing nothing. I know we just sticking to ourselves, just letting time pass, trying to grow spiritually or whatever. Even if we're, even if we're struggling, even if we're not doing that well, bro, like at the end of the day, I know chosen motherfuckers who's chosen to be fucking gang stock. I know these motherfuckers aren't a threat and I know we're not doing nothing. Like, we just trying to enjoy life and stick to ourselves. But yet, we got these cowardly-ass motherfuckers who, whatever the reason are, thinking you the next fucking Michael Myers, or I don't fucking know. Like, it's just annoying knowing that you're fucking being surveilled every goddamn day. Like, and it's just, why? It's like, why? What person deserves to fucking be mentally abused by hundreds of people everyone to know this big ass secret about you that or this inside joke that everyone else knows and you don't fucking know like that shit is fucking annoying like and when in your mind bro you just thinking about niggas where you gonna get your next meal or 
how you gonna evolve spiritually? Like, no, like, nope. Like, uh, that's why, and it's like, that's why it's hard for me to accept things in this world. Religion, all that type of shit, bro. Even spirituality, it's like, I'm just, at this point, bro, I'm just learning everything that just come to this, come from this world is just a, a distraction and it's just, it's just evil. Cause it's like, why do somebody, why is there people in the world who don't do nothing to people is being harassed and like mentally fucking bullied? Why there's actual wicked people fucking killing kids, fucking eating kids, and these motherfuckers just get to live life free. You know, free and happy and goddamn just just continue to just do evil. Nobody's fucking with these motherfuckers, but everyone's fucking with the motherfucker who just wishes peace and happiness. What kind of shit is that, bro? What, like, seriously, what kind of fucking evil, diabolical shit that is? And it's just like, I'm just starting to think that it's just maybe we have pure souls. Maybe we are, maybe we are God here to experience wor the world. Because we don't fucking want no problems. We don't want no fucking drama. But yet, we're surrounded by evil, toxic ass, mindsetted people who have nothing else better to do but to try to make your life miserable and to make it feel like you're crazy. Like, that shit is lame, bro. That shit is lame and it's fucking cowardly, bro. Like, I don't understand. Like, that shit, that, that shit is annoying, man. That, that shit is annoying. And I, I can feel deep in my soul, bro, in the next life, bro. We will see y'all, bro. And y'all not gonna be able to do what y'all did in this life, bruh. I, I don't know what to call it. I don't, I don't really feel like I have, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but I could just feel deep in my spirit, bruh. In the next life, y'all gonna wish y'all didn't do fucking what y'all did to us in this life. And y'all will see us. I don't know how to explain it, but y'all gonna fucking see us. And y'all gonna wish y'all didn't do all that evil to fucking people who didn't want to do, who didn't want to bother nobody in life. All we wanted to do was live life free and happy. And look, they're like the same white car who stopped in front of my first video. Yep, and it moves along. It's like just, it's like dealing with you, it's just, I don't know, it's just, I'm tired of dealing with wicked motherfuckers. I don't care what anyone got to say about me. I'm living life wrong, I'm dirty. I, bro, I don't care what the fuck is on your mind. At the end of the day, I just know I'm not bothering fucking nobody. I'm not worried about nobody. I'm not hating on nobody. But it seems like all that shit is, everyone's doing that to me, everyone's hating on me, everyone's worried about me. Like, but I'm not focused on a damn thing but myself. And it's It's a test for us. People who upload these videos talking about this shit. This is our fucking test. Maybe to become a god. Maybe to to farther becoming a god. Maybe to go to another world. I don't I don't know. But this this point this th all this abuse, bruh, is not for no reason. Like there has to be a reason. And I'm not I'm not worried about their reason. Whatever their reason is, I don't give a shit. I just know it's they're acting out of a wicked mindset. So it's like, fuck what their reason is. But in the spiritual realm, I know it's something bigger. Like, dude, like I'm sorry, but I'm, I don't, when people say angels and demons, I don't think 
angels and demons and like hell and shit. No, I think of them here. I feel like angels are here and demons are here. And everyone who's doing this gang stalking, fucking with people for no reason, playing these mental mind games, these are the fucking demons people speak of in the flesh. And y'all time is close. Y'all will fucking pay. I, I, you can count on that. You can fucking count on that. Y'all won't be able to do this shit for too much longer. Best believe it. But this is Bahamut. For all my other people who's truly going through this shit. Who really knows how it feels. Stay strong. Don't act out of fucking violence. Don't, you know, it's, we all get angry. We all, you know, sometimes we get to a point, you know, but don't fucking act out of violence. Don't think with their mindset. Because at the end of the day, to me, they're fucking with you because you're a good guy. You're a good girl. Whoever you are, you, you literally fucking have a good mindset and you don't fuck with nobody. Like, you're righteous. Yeah, you probably have a little problems that people don't like. But at the end of the day, you're not a wicked motherfucker. These motherfuckers around you, hating you, or whatever, stalking you, whatever their fucking reason is, is because they have a fucking wicked mindset, and they themselves are demons and don't even know it. So fuck them. Continue on your journey. Even if you're in a shitty situation, just know it'll get better. Because right now, I'm leaving a, situa a, a fucked up situation. And I'm and my future is looking quite bright. Whether I have motherfuckers hating me, you know, fucking laughing at me, it, it don't fucking matter. Fuck these evil demon ass motherfuckers who ain't never going leave this city where I'm at. Because I know most of them I'm dealing with is just fucking people who lived here, born here, and want to fucking die here. So fuck them. Why I fucking continue to evolve and grow and move on. Why they just look for the next person to harass who's who's the nice guy who don't who don't bother nobody who just uh, who's just lost in life and trying to find his way out or her way out. Just know it's, it's, at the end of the day, bro, we're going to prosper and they're just going to remain low vibrational, toxic and just evil minded people. They're just going to remain like that and they're never going to know what it feels like to evolve onto higher ways of thinking and better minds so this is bahamut i'm out of here i love you i love you righteous people i love the people who are going through what i'm going through who just wish peace and happiness but just have chaos and evil all around them so i love you people stay up and be safe